happen. That opening number comes from a record of ours uh, called um, These Are The Jokes, recorded live at the Ronnie Scott Club. All the titles are geared to Ronnie Scott's jokes, and that one was called Still Doing The Trick With The Horse, Madam. It was composed by Chris Smith and the soloist there. On flugelhorn from Stockport, you heard from Neil Yates. <laughs> Tenor from Nottingham, Julian Siegel. At the drums from Solly Hull, Chris Dagley. <laughs> Unaccustomed... Uh, sight now is the fact that Ben Castle, Norman plays tenor with the band, is playing alto today. And yesterday we rehearsed this particular piece, um, and so it's only fair to give him a chance to have a knock on it immediately. This also comes from the same record. Um, in fact, it's the one that follows that last one on the record, I rather fancy. We're not actually going to work our way through the record, it just so happens that's the way it's worked out. This one is based on a standard tune called Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. It's, um, Ronnie Scott joke is, it's the first time I've seen dead people smoke which is a bit nasty, so we actually normally call it Smoky Eyes, that's the most common name we use for it, but anyway, that's, it's got on the chords of Smokes in Your Eyes, so if you know that tune well, you can sing it to yourself in the back of your head, and that will be a counter melody in your own subconscious to the tune. Thank you. 
Trinity del Alto, Ben Castle. Thank you, guys. Chart we don't play often enough. Anyway, we're going to continue now by playing a chart we play very, very often indeed. This one's a request from Molly Dagley, who's got something to do with Chris Dagley being here today. And she likes to request this particular piece. It's called Half Steps. And it's a Latin piece. Um, comes from a uh, record of ours called Remembrance. It's a quick moment where a, flute, a few flutes are sorted out among the uh, saxophone section. Yeah, you got one already? Ah, here we are. See, we have a few whistles being sorted out here. There we go. Just to demonstrate their amazing virility. There we go.
match indeed there for half step. So the soloist there. First soloist on alto, Lisa Graham. Second solo on trombone, Jeremy Price. Third solo on the piano there from uh, Bishop Stortford there, Jeff Leach. On trumpet there, special guest for today, all the way from, well, he comes originally from Leighton Buzzard, but now he's in Harrow, Simon Dat Silva. And at the drums, Chris Dagley. Next piece is a request from the James Hunt Fan Club. Um, they've asked if you could play this particular piece. It's a tune called Monk, written by Harry South. Starts with the piano of um, Jeff Leach. Tribute, of course, to Thelonious Sphere Monk.
much indeed there for Monk and the tenor saxophone of James Hunt from Sudbury in Suffolk. We'd like now to dedicate this next one to Bill Pritchard, it's a tune he knows. It's written by George Gershwin, it's called Embraceable You, it's arranged by Ken Wheeler, and it spotlights the trumpet of a young trumpet player from Stockport, whose name is Neil Yates. And while this Neil Yates is coming out there, while we're um, just getting the parts out, there's a, people often ask us why we don't do more standard tunes. The short answer is that bands all over Britain want to be able to get hold of our music, and we can't let them have it if it's copyright to other people. But the Gershwin repertoire, because he's been dead for more than 50 years, is available, which means that when people like to hear a chart, they can get hold of it. So that's the main reason why we do these things like this. In fact, we're going to have a complete album of Gershwin tunes. In fact, in the second half, it's likely we're doing another one. Yes, one of you trombone players would like to do that, yeah. Anyway, this is one called Embraceable You. It was arranged for the John Dankworth band a year or two ago. In fact, Mike Ken Wheel used to be his feature with the band. Now it's the feature for Neil Yates. See if you can tell the difference.
fenders on the other end of things like that on the word day. Right, we've had a request also to do um, fast piece to feature our two tenor players. This one's entitled Going Dutch, number 81 in the library. This is a request from Ben Castle requested this one. What? No, no, Ben Castle requested it. Because um, he doesn't have to play it himself. Written by Chris Smith, Going Dutch. <laughs> One, two, one, two, three, four.
much indeed there for going up to the two tenor players there. Julian Siegel, James Hunt, at the drums, Chris Dagley. Two, three months ago, we had a young singer come and sing with the band from Ireland. Her name was Jenny Howe. Had a lot of requests for people to ask when she was going to come back. She would come back today. She's just been away to Casablanca, where she's been earning a living, um, playing uh, parts in various remakes of the films. I uh, know she's not, in fact, been doing that. Um, she's actually working um, as a hostess. Anyway, she's going to come. No, not through either. No, sing, working as a singer. There we go. Um, Jenny Howe is going to come and sing a couple of songs. The first one came to us from a chap called John Dixon in Leeds. Um, when it came down, it's only one chorus of words. I wrote the second and third verses. The arrangement is by Steve Hill. The song is called Shadow of Doubt. And to sing it for you, will you welcome, please, Miss Jenny Howe. album. It's a song written uh, by Steve Gray and Bill Ashton, a song called Away With Words. Two. 
much. Thank you. From Cork in Southern Ireland, Miss Jenny Howe. Wave your words. And the Google on there of Neil Yates. And if you'd like uh, to get Jenny's autograph, her photograph is in the latest magazine, and she'd be happy to sign her name across the front of it all. Um, incidentally, those of you who get the magazine through the post, by all means look at it. And if you don't need two copies, just leave one behind, because another one will be coming to you on about Tuesday. So unless you really need two copies, just read one and put it back on the pile, because they're expensive to turn out. No point in having two of them being used to line the cat litter tray, is there really? <laughs> So we are um, going to do a couple more numbers before we break. The first one we're going to play is a chart which comes from a record of ours called um, In Camera, dedicated to the campaign for real ale. This is dedicated to Eindkoop Burton and um, it's a fast piece, I suppose, in the style of the um, Woody Herman band. It's a feature for our baritone player, Mick Foster. He got this baritone on Friday. He's thinking of buying it. We're going to actually ask um, our special expert on baritones over there, Barry, to give it to once over during the interval because he knows all about baritones. He's asking you 1,900 quid. You can get him a better one than that, Barry, for that price? Julius Carlworth. You think you could? There you are. It's a bargain, definite bargain. You're going to see what metal it's made of. It's made out of actually old baked bean tins, actually. Um, well, as we play for you a piece entitled um, Going for a Burton, the baritone of Mick Foster.
Well, it's a risk there. We actually had a request to do this next piece. That was going for a Burton the baritone there of Mick Foster. We have a special request for the next piece, and it's also particularly important that we play this one today. So, in spite of the fact that somebody has got a cold and doesn't want to play somebody else's saxophone, we're still going to play it also. Yeah, we'll play the medical bills, that's right. Um, this is a piece called Rodeo, it's written for us by Paul Hart. First of all, it's the gentleman who enjoyed the concert at the Barbican, where we played the music of Paul Hart. More particularly, though, it's a dedication to the Radio Big Band. As you probably know, the Radio Band plays quite a lot of our music, this is one they play quite often. And the band is under threat, as you know, at the moment. They're talking about it not continuing after next, the end of March, or if it does, it'll be as a, as a freelance um, orchestra. And um, I think it's a chance for all of you to write in and complain. I mean, this is the worst sort of candle-end uh, candle cheese-pairing economy. Bertian, Thatcherite economies is worst. To save 17 jobs at the BBC, 17 jobs, they're going to chop a band which is the envy of Europe, one of the finest bands in the world today, and it's going to be chopped. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. I think it's totally disgusting. It's something which the BBC ought to be thoroughly ashamed of, everyone ought to be ashamed of, and we all ought to write in and try and do something about it. So this is a dedication to the radio band, which, as you know, takes an awful lot of Nigel players, currently their pianist, uh, baritone player, second alto player, drummer, all out of Nigel, bass trombone player, lots of other players um, have been with that band. And if nothing else, it guarantees employment for Nigel players when they get too old to come to Rice Slip. So um, do please um, try and write in and attack this stupid, unnecessary, miserable little economy.
here, the saxophone section and the altitude channel there of Jeff Leach. And uh, if you're wondering how that effect can possibly take place on an otherwise in tune electric piano, do ask our sound engineer Clark at the back. It's all to do with phase shifting and clever stuff like that. If you want to know all about it, ask Clark, without whom.